Hi, I'm Peggy at Portraits by Peggy. Today is going to be so much fun. I am joined today with Melody Trice from the Melody Trice Show. Wow. <laughs> It's so fun to have you here. Well, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. I really, um, I want to talk about everything you do and, okay, maybe not everything. I was like, that's going to be a long walk today. <laughs> but tell us, tell us about your TV show. Tell us why you do the show. Tell us what goes on. Well, you know what? One of the main reasons why I, I do the show um, is because, for one, I love to talk. And so I realized that... <laughs> I realized that, you know, being here in... You know, all of my viewers went, oh, God, it's going to be a long one again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, y'all, exactly. So, you know, I, I thought about, you know, when I came to California and I, I moved here by faith. And so I realized that you see a lot of stuff happening and people doing this and doing that. And I felt like you had to figure out what it is that you're good at and perfect that. My dad used to say, find something that everybody hates doing, but you like and be the best at it. Exactly. And you love, because if you love to do it, yep. then it's not work. If okay. you mess up, it's okay. It's okay. You know what I mean? And so I just, I just love talking to yeah. people yeah. like you and really showcasing the world your life story to let people know what you do. Uh -huh. And so that they, too, can be encouraged to say, you know what, if Peggy can do it, honey child, I can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. I'm, I'm a big believer in we create our own universe. I'm yeah. a big believer that our words build our life. Literally. And, um, you know, I feel that a lot of times when you live in this air environment, you know, the industry is tough. Mm. And I think because on camera, on social media, everybody shows the, the happy side. You don't always see all the work that actually goes into it. And so if you're not where so-and-so is, you think you're failing, but you just don't realize you're just at a different place in your journey. Yeah, because I, I just feel like, you know, and I actually hate the word when people say competition in the industry. I do. You know what I'm saying? Because technically it, it is no competition. It is you developing who you are to be the best you are. I'm a portrait photographer. And when I moved to LA, I was like, ooh, there's so much competition. I was like, no, there's not. There's only one, Peggy. Oh, my God. Yes. There's four million people in Los Angeles. Yeah. Gee, I don't want all of those people. Exactly. I want the people who... You for know, you. Yeah, that I can, I want those people that I can grab their personality and make them look amazing and, and get that perfect look for their headshot and get them working. Exactly. And there's, that so, somebody else does it different than I do. They're not my competition. Yeah. They're just different. Yeah, they're, di they're not they're you. They're not me. You know. I, I, I love to work with photographers and help them and encourage them. It gets frustrating to me when other photographers try to stab me in the back and I'm like, oh, that's, I feel bad for them because that's not a good life practice. Yeah, well, technically, they're, <laughs> they're not confident in who they yeah. are. Because anytime that you are competing with someone for who they are, you can never be yeah, them. Just be you. Yeah, but when you be you... Just oh my God, you. honey, you are the bomb because yeah. you were created to be you. You. You know, exactly. I wasn't created to be you. Right. Because then you get lost in their world trying to compare yourself to Then you to always them. are comparing and yes. you always feel inferior and you always feel like, no peace. oh, I'm not. Yeah. You have no peace. But if you just find you and do you and do the best you you can. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't give you an excuse to say, oh, well, me, I just sit at home and, you know, eat and watch TV. I don't go to, it's like, no, 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 that's not being the best you. Yeah. You still got to work. And <laughs> you have to work, but I think of this like this because a lot of times some people just don't want to do nothing, but then you can't complain because it's not, things are not happening because of it's not out there because right. it's out there. It's right. so many opportunities for everybody. It's just yeah. so many. But because you didn't put forth the effort, that's why it's not happening. Yeah. It's not happening because it ain't, you know, oh, I can't find a photographer to take my picture. No, you can find one. Is that have you actually looked to right. find one? Have you called? Yeah, have you, have you talked? Call? Okay, like have you did yeah. your part? But yeah. so many people I find they want 
you to do their part yeah and your part right and then you and that's why i think the frustrating part comes when when we get frustrated as people with other people is yeah. because we're trying to do them and do us in order to make everybody happy you know, they say that there is enough resources and gold and money in the world that every single person could live abundantly. Literally. There, is not, a, there is not a lack of resources on this earth. There is not a lack of money on this earth. It really isn't. So, so don't say that you can't get it. Figure out how to get it. Exactly. You <laughs> if, must. If you keep doing the same thing that's not working and you wonder why you still don't have anything... Mm. I think they say that's the definition of insanity. Yeah. Doing the same thing over and over, over and expecting a different result. If it's not working, then decide, am I not working it right? Or am I supposed to be over here instead of over here? You know, what frequency are you on? Where is what you want? And I think a lot of times in, and just talking to people on my show, and, and even when I'm on the, the red carpet and talking to people, is their perception of who they are. Yeah. Because if you don't see yourself doing better and your surroundings because when you're around a certain person it's something about them may ignite and you say you know what i, I can do this you know what i'm saying or you'll be around someone who's always just complaining sucks the light. yeah just sucks it and you want to like, like i don't want to even be around yeah them. you'd be like you yeah. go home tired you'd be like Dog, I was feeling good, but now all I want to do is just lay it's down. It's like it sucks the life out of you. Like you, you can physically feel it. And you people. have to be aware yeah. of that. Yeah. That that person or wherever, even that place sometimes, yeah. is doing something to you internally. Mm -hmm. And then you have to be like, you know what? Regardless of what, I got to let this go because this is taken away from who I am as a person. Right. Because you can't get back, you know, time. I don't I don't believe in wasting my time with nothing. Everything I do is purpose driven. Yeah. You exactly. know, because I can't get it back. So since I can't get it back, that means that I need to utilize it to the best of my ability and gain whatever I can from it at that time. Well, that's this is that's how we met. We met at a red carpet. You were doing your interviews for your show, and I was working the event. I think I was doing candidates for the event. Yes. And I kept seeing you, and I was like, ah, oh, I just liked the, <laughs> I liked the shine, the <laughs> happiness, and and we keep, you know, we talked to each other a little bit, and then I started following you on Instagram, and I said, hey, come be on my vlog, mm -hmm. and, and so it's been a few months that you know, but yeah. but you know, you do, and and people do you. You put that off where if you're just always frustrated and grumpy, you put that off. Yeah. So when you go into an audition, you may know your lines perfectly, but you're all, yeah. Yeah. People because, can sense that. Yeah, because it's just when you walk in. Yeah. And I can tell, like me, I don't care where I'm, I can, I can pretty much tell how a person is. Yeah. You know, like... Are they happy with their life or are they not happy with their life? Right. What they supposed to do and what they don't supposed to do. And that doesn't doing. mean that you always are happy. No. People that are are confident and and live in abundance and, and happy, that doesn't mean they're always Yeah. I mean they get tired, they don't yeah. feel good, they get grouchy just yeah. like everyone. They else. get angry too. <laughs> but but they make a choice what to do with that. Yes. They make a conscious decision to say, okay. This is how I'm going to react because that's what I think. Like, like just learning in life, yeah. I be thinking about okay. You can suggest to me, oh Melody, I don't like blah blah blah, but it's up to me how I react to what you say. Yeah, and so it's always like a cause and effect. It's always like you have to react to whatever being presented to you, yeah. and that's what's going to determine your outcome. Exactly. And, you know, you're always, I'm always, everybody's always put in the, it, either it's the sister, the mom, the friend, there's always that person that's always got something to say about how you're living your life. But I block those <laughs> folks, you know. And, <laughs> and you have a decision, you know. You can block them or you can fight with them or you can get down and wallow in it or you can try to please them. It's your decision. Yes. Your Ultimately, decision. it is your decision. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes it's the closest person to you sometimes, and you be like, man, you really <laughs> want them to be happy. <laughs> but then every time you talk to them, it's always, well, this going on. I'm like, do you ever have a good day? Right. Can yeah. you just one day say, you know. And I will tell them because I'm just so <laughs> blunt. I'm like, you know what? If you're going to complain today, guess what? You, you can't talk to me. Right, not today. Not today. I said, because today <laughs> I don't have time for that. And, you know, and everyone that know me that well, they know that I'm going to tell them just how I'm feeling. Because my mama told me when I was young, yeah. 
She said, baby, don't you be holding that stuff in because it'll give you a heart attack. So guess what? I ain't having no heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to let it out. And I feel like if you bold enough to keep coming to me about it, then obviously you really do want to know what I feel about right. it. Right. You know, because you didn't ask me. But most of my friends know not to ask me unless they want to know yeah, the answer. Know the real truth. <laughs> You know how they say my truth? No, this is yeah, this is my truth on your truth. <laughs> you know, so yeah. Yeah, that's funny. So how long have you been doing this? You uh, you've got your own TV. You're you're actually on. We don't have the cable that you're on. I tried to watch you and I was going, oh, damn. Yeah, but you, we can watch you online. You can watch it online. My show airs in the whole San Francisco Bay Area. Uh huh. Um, you can watch it in Pasadena. You can watch it in Long Beach. You but not in Eagle Rock. Um, no, <laughs> but you know, actually, uh, because it's a local channel, but, um, Glendale area doesn't have local, yeah. uh, access in that way. Yeah. But guess what y'all? So my show is going to be on Roku very soon. Nice. So, you know, you'll be able to watch, watch it, it yeah. you know, and of course you can watch it online, online. but. And I'll have the link down, down yeah. below so they can check that out. Yeah. So, and it airs like, um, 12 times a week. Nice. Yeah, so I'm very So grateful. the same show airs for yeah, a week and then so for you, a week. Right. But you you just do one show a week. Well, typically it's not normally it's the show that I promote. Uh huh. But sometimes the studio will air another episode oh, throughout the week I that I don't know that you about. You know about. You know. So like, oh surprise. Yeah, and then <laughs> I don't even know unless somebody's actually watching it and you know they're following or whatever and then they'll go hey the show aired today my episode aired or somebody yeah. and i'm like oh i don't know because see technically i mean i would not have no life if i was to watch my show every time it aired right right i mean there's just no way to do that because yeah. i'm always real busy but my show i actually um Started my show, it started on TV in 2016. Uh-huh. So it's been two, two years. Two years. Whoa, Yay. that's awesome. And the red carpet, now I'm a celebrity host. <laughs> I'm like, you're watching your girl, your celebrity host. And <laughs> I've only been doing that almost a year. Uh, so I met you right after you started doing the red carpet. Yeah. You hadn't been doing that very long. Yeah, and I love it. Yeah. You know, I love it. And it has um, just really just meeting some people that, when I grew up, yeah, seeing them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, do you, re you remember this part you did? Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, what are you doing? Because <laughs> like, I remember when I met, and I mean, I, I met uh, so many of them, but I guess this one touched me more than anybody. You know, the show, color, the movie Color Purple. Uh -huh. So when I met Suge Avery, oh, that wow. was probably, I don't know, the the best out of all of them. And I don't know a lot of them, but yeah. because I watched that movie, I know over a thousand times yeah. when I was a kid. I just, every day I would get out of school, I would watch, watch that, that movie. movie. And so, and, and she asked me. Uh, on a VHS. On a VHS. VHS. Was, yes. <laughs> and we ended up having to get Be another kind, one. Rewind. Yes. <laughs> and we ended up having to get another one because I watched it that much that it actually ripped. Oh, wow. I think my sister's them actually you know. uh, they were probably like, we're done with this. Yeah, I, I really believe they did. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but my godmama, she was so nice. She went and bought me a new one. Aww. But, um, and she asked me, she said, do you know my lines? And the only thing I can come up with was, you know, sister. Was like, <laughs> she was like, everybody tend to remember that part. I was like, yes, honey, up in that club. And she was singing that song. Out. And it was just amazing to see her still active. Acted. And yeah. she's, you know, she's on Mary Jane. Yeah. Um, now as the mother of Gabrielle Union, and it was just amazing to see how far the industry has came, has come. and the diversity in the industry, because she was talking about how back then, you know, certain opportunities wasn't, but now, mm -hmm. we are not limited, because right. we can create our own stuff, right? You know, it's like, a man, doesn't, a man doesn't want to hire me? Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, like, <laughs> in your laws, honey? Okay. Because right now, we about to just there make it happen. There are a lot of powerful women in Hollywood right now. Okay. I, I've had a few of them on my show, and so it's, it, it's, uh, it's really awesome. And, and there's no hold, there's no, no holding us back. No reason to. No. Because when they told me, oh, Melody, you can't have a show. What? <laughs> 
<laughs> what? You gonna tell me when you tell me I can't, baby? That's like a, a go ahead to just it's, say I can't. That's like a dare. Yeah. It's like show me, show me how you can okay. do it. Okay. <laughs> and then I research, and that's one of the things that I tell people: anything you want to do, you we can... have Google. We have oh my god. When my kids come to me and say something, I'm like, you have YouTube and you have Google. You can oh, do YouTube. anything. Everything. Everything. Oh my god. Everything. <laughs> And then the, the beauty of it is, is you can learn how to do things. Because I went to video production school for two years. Wow. To learn how the whole behind the scenes. So do you produce your show? I produce right? you my do, show. You're a one woman show yeah, right now. You do I all the work. Well, I mean. You've got some I people used, coming on. I have a crew now. Uh -huh. But before, uh, for maybe a, a month or two, um, well, I always had other people yeah. kind of. Like, for as like the camera person or right. whatever. But um, now we use three cameras and stuff. So yeah. it's camera and I have a director and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I produce it. I get a director. I have papers that I send out. I have meetings with them to go over different stuff. And they're like, wow, you're very thirsty. Honey, them two years, you know, was oh, worth yeah. it, you know. Because that's, that was training ground. You you knew what was going to happen. So nobody's going to tell you any yeah. different because you, you understand how it works. Yeah, and I was, you know, yeah. I wanted to know because say, okay, we're going to develop a short film. Well, somebody didn't give us the opportunity to create a reel or whatever. Right. But guess what? Because I have that knowledge we can make it happen. We can make it happen. Because I know how to do a story, right. you know, a storyboard. I know all the different things, the timing yeah. and what you need to do. And I also took editing. So I, all my shows, which of course y'all, one day I do not want to be editing them anymore, <laughs> but I do love it. I hate it. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> you know, I was so passionate about it. I was like, I love editing. I love editing. But then, y'all... I got something on my computer right now that's rendering. It has been rendering for two hours. Girl, oh my God. <laughs> Driving me crazy. I am a still photographer, so when I play with video, I, I thank God for YouTube and you know creative live classes. But um, yeah, so I get up there and I'm like... Yeah, when it's rendering... I'm really impatient when it comes to that kind of thing because with the still picture, I put it in, I do my thing, and I'm done. And with video... But it's cool. I, I'm learning a lot of fun things. Yeah. But it's, you know, I don't know why, but just because it's fun, I guess. I, I love it, you know, but I don't like it when it's rendering or I forgot to put something Something in. And then you have to do the whole thing. You, you know. You can forget one, like, oh, I forgot to put that website I said I have. I pointed, I said there was going to be a website and there's not. Now it's, I got to redo the whole thing. Yes. And render it again. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and my computer, that happened to me, and it took six hours for that. Yeah, to, the whole show. To... And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then I forgot. I was like, really? You know what? Just forget it. It's okay. Yeah. And I had to do that because I actually had to turn it in. So that's yeah, why like, I was oh. like, you know, it's like, you know, what can I do? <laughs> that's funny. You know, but, you know, I just realized that in, in anything you want to do, Find out how you can be develop to be that person so that you are not limited. The only limits are the limits you put on yourself. Yes. And so the moral of me, what I'm really all about is life unlimited. I will always, no matter what I do, encourage people to live to the fullest. You know, we were created to live unlimited. Mm -hmm. So the limits, as you say, or the only ones you put on yourself, mm -hmm. or the ones, or the ones you allow other people to inflict on you. Right. Because when I grow, when I was growing up, people voted me to be the least likely to succeed in life by the teachers and the students. Wow! But it was one teacher that believed in me, and she said, "Melody, you're gonna be something amazing." And she was like, "Oh, you're gonna be on TV and all this stuff." And I never would have thought. Honest oh. to God, that was not something. Because I was a hairstylist for years. Like, yeah. that was what I did. I had a beauty salon, beauty supply store for years. Very successful at that. So, for you to say, Melody, you're going to go to Hollywood and be a talk show host and own a red carpet and all this. I would have said, Psha, please, uh -uh, not me. <laughs> but because she had put that in me that I can do anything, it, was, it became real to me. Mm -hmm. Because... 
if I would allow what those people said to me and being voted and then it being in the book, Melody Trice, right. least likely to succeed, I was like, am I that bad that you right. would think that, you know what I'm saying, yeah. that I can't accomplish something? Right. So instead of me allowing the enemy to make me feel like I'm nothing, yeah, I use it as fuel to say, Mm, I must them. be something amazing. <laughs> I'll show them. Okay, they're gonna be wishing they knew who yeah. I was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because of the fact that I took your lemons and made me some amazing lemonade for my life. Right. You know, I became the version of me that I was created to be, not the version that you said. Right. Because a lot of people do that. Well, my dad and my mama, my cousin, my friend, they say I'll never be nothing, and then they live that truth. They make that their reality. Right. And that's not, this is your, yeah, your right. opinion does not detect who I am. What I feel about me detect who I am. So that's why I'm always telling people, honey, take them shackles off your feet and live. Because <laughs> you only have one life. I only have one life. One. Right. You know, and I don't ever want to regret that I did something or I didn't do something. I think that I, I heard this somewhere and it was, uh, you know, when you're older, the only things you'll regret are the things you didn't try. And the things thing. you limited yourself and said, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Well, try. So what? If you think you can't do it, why not try it? Because if you, you know, so what if you fail? You, you, you weren't going to do it if you didn't try anyway. Exactly. So just try. And this older lady, when I graduated from cosmetology school, and I was finna open up a um, beauty, beauty salon. Mm -hmm. And people's like, oh, you can't open up a beauty salon. You don't have that kind of money, blah, blah, blah. And the old lady, she told me, she said, Melody, her name was Miss West. And she said, Melody, live life with no regrets. She said, if you do it and you fail, at least you know you did it. At least you know you tried. And when she said that, I was like, bing. It was like this light bulb. Next thing you know, honey, I had the top business in like six counties yeah. i even got an award for being one of the number one small businesses and and that's what the one thing i want to get across to my viewers uh that's one of the reasons i do this vlog is because there's so many people that that want to be an actor they want to be a producer they want to be a director and you know they go to college and they do this and then they realize they don't know the they know the book knowledge of it, but they don't know how it works and what to do. And, you know, then they feel lost and then they quit. And they quit too soon. They quit too soon. It's hard for everyone. Yeah. Everyone has to struggle. Everyone has to learn. So they think as soon as the pressure gets applied, as soon as they feel the pressure, they think, oh, yeah, and they quit. When in, that pressure is just like going to boomerang them if they would just, you know, lean into that pressure and embrace the pressure and let it, you know, sling them up forward. And... That's why I have amazing people come on and, you know, to encourage because that's the key right there. You know, don't live, don't live life, you know, don't live with any regrets. Exactly. Because, you know, when you just said that a lot of times when those hardships happen, I call them um, growing pains. Yeah. And I actually just posted about it, um, those growing pains. But when you are walking in your purpose, those growing pains doesn't be as severe as those when you are walking in a someone someone else's, else's path. path because then you get all these bruises and it makes you bitter right but when you have those growing pains and you're doing what you love to do it energizes you you're like ah i fail you then it's something and you're like, ah, you like you got to get up the next thing you know you're doing it and you're better than you was before right. because you have to have those to perfect who you are because your body your mind is going in an area that you're not used to so it's trying to reject right so you got to push through it yeah because there's a lot of times that i'll be like you know what i just don't want to do it i'm tired of quit forget this yeah i am not editing this i'm not going i'm not <laughs> doing this i don't care i don't care and I, I can go on audition and and then i'm like oh my god how can i forget the word how did i not do this and then i'm like you know what forget it i'm, I'm not audition no more then about two hours later hey 
I'm looking at my call back. Yeah. <laughs> like, yay! Then I I'm, love this. I'm gonna be <laughs> like you know. Isn't then, it? Isn't it so funny though? You can be at your lowest, and then one little thing changes, and you're at your highest, like yes. within a second. So when you're at your lowest, realize you're yeah. This sucks right now, but it's gonna be fine. And you know something, and it'll be a good story. Amazing, because it's your story. It's your story, and I love to talk. People, all, all my viewers know that. But I like to tell stories, and yeah. I feel like I've, I've lived enough, you know? And so that's what I do when something really crappy happens. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a good story one day. <laughs> because it's your truth. <laughs> this is going to be a good story one day. And I think those are the best movies. Yeah. The truth. The yeah. real ones, because we can relate. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, this happened to me. When I went yeah. to the Fashion Week, it was my first time y'all going to LA Fashion Week. And I literally wanted to cry because to see women with curves, full figure women, scrut their stuff yeah. with confidence, it was like, I don't know, like some entered me or something. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I can do that. <laughs> and I, 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 I don't know, it was like, man, here is another unlimited part for me where I feel right. like I was limited because I was told when I came to California, oh, you can't model because, you know, you're too curvy. Well, I was born with these curves. Right. Most women have curves. Right. You know, I'm not knocking the one who don't. Right. But I was born with curves. Right. So I don't want no one telling me that I can't be something because what I was born with. Do you want to hear a, a funny story? Yes. Like, at the time it wasn't funny, but, you know, to tell it, I know it's hilarious. So I grew up in northern Kansas. Um, First person I, I met from Kansas, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I had to do that to you. That's good, that's good. Um, so, um, uh, um, I always wanted to live in California. It was, it was because I was in love with Nicholas from Eight is Enough. But <clears throat> anyway, I don't know. It was, <laughs> it was the 70s, what do you do? But my mom used to say, you can never live in California. You're not pretty enough. Only pretty people live in California. <laughs> Honestly. And so, you know, life goes on, life goes on. And then it brings me to, um, I moved to San Diego in 2002. <clears throat> I'd never even been to San Diego before. Always wanted to live in California. And I packed up the kids in the RV and I moved to San Diego. Wow, the and RV. And I was so scared. Wow. Because A, I, I had some money saved up, but that was it. I was coming out here to do, start my own business and move to California. And, um, and I thought, well, I'll never have any friends and, you know, I'm going to be the ugliest person in California. I really thought I was going to be the ugliest person really? in California. She's the beautiful. Yeah. And, <laughs> and so you can imagine when I first got to California and I went to the beach and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Cause oh my God. Everything but that's something, here. seriously, I almost didn't move to California because that was put in me when I was a kid. And, you know, when you think about it, it's stupid. <clears throat> but that was something that was put in me as a kid. And, you know, it, it held me back for a long time. I even, you know, go to California, you know. And it's but just, I, and it's so many people have silly stories like that. That they think are reality because somebody told them. They think they're too fat. They think they're too skinny. They think they're too tall. They think they're too short. They think they're, they're skinned. They think something which somebody else thinks is the coolest thing about them, yes. but they can't see it because somebody told them that story and they believed it. And that's what you I said. You can't act. You're not really good at improv. You're not really good at this. You're not, you know. You didn't take this class. You need yeah. to take this person class because that person is no good. That's your opinion. Yeah. Well, now I was told um, you can never be a TV host because no one want to hear your accent. <laughs> I, I was told that <laughs> by a TV host. Yeah. She told me that. Yeah. And she's like, for one, nobody going to be able to understand you. You know, nobody want to hear that. And I found out that everybody want to hear the company. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I was like, and if I would have listened to her. Right. You would have either changed it. It has been so fun talking to you. I yes. really appreciate you coming on. What is one thing that you want to make sure my viewers know? Well, stay following me um, on all my social media. It will be amazing and continue to live life free, unlimited, and to the best of your ability. And embrace your flaws. Your yes. flaws. 
your flaws, not flaws that other people tell you you have. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you again. Thank you for having me. Uh, anytime. She's amazing. Anytime. Anytime. So make sure you go to my YouTube, follow, um, subscribe, follow. No, you, you subscribe. Let me just do that again. I just totally screwed that all up. <laughs> That's okay. Embracing the flaw. So make sure you go to my YouTube, subscribe, share, leave me comments, and I'm going to have all of your links below. Make sure you follow her. Also, I don't know why I never tell people this on my vlogs. I'm on Instagram at Portraits by Peggy and Peggy Warney. I'm on Facebook. So I actually have a Twitter account. What about Snapchat? I'm 46 years old. I do not She needs a Snapchat. <laughs> 70 year old people have Snapchat. I know. I know. Yeah, she's going to get it, y'all, soon. So follow her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on. It was fun. Good. It was fun. It was. We'll talk forever. Oh, I know. I'm.